So we are looking at the brand new Contact 8 with uh, two new tools in their menu, in their engine. And I talked about the first one in another video. This was the chords tool. Today I'm looking at the phrases tool and it's a similar uh, process. So you can audition your loops, your little phrases. Right, so and they have them all. You can actually mark them if you have a favorite and later sort, you know, up here, sort your favorites and things like that. So let's pick one. Let's pick the band acoustic guitar. Double click it. It's going to open your phrase tool in the upper window. And if you hit the key now, it's moving, but you don't hear anything. So keep in mind, you need to add an instrument, right? That makes total sense. So click the plus button here and add an instrument. I'm going to add the uh, nylon guitar by Heaviosity. I think it was a free plugin when it came out. It's very simple, but good for testing right now. Double click here it is. This is my instrument currently used with phrases. And um, if I hit the C key, for instance, or down the octave, and you can walk through the different keys. All right, so that's it's very straightforward. It's a, a MIDI based plugin, so you can change the tempo. You know, if you want it double speed, half speed, right? You can move it up and down the octave if if you want it in a different range. Right now, I have it over three octaves, and also depends on the range of your instrument, right? Uh, you can make it swing depending on the line. I think in this scenario it doesn't make much sense, but let's hear it. But... All right, not quite sure. You, that might need some, uh, you know, uh, tweaking uh, once you have it with your track to see what you really need here. Uh, if you have strings and other things or instruments with dynamics, here is your uh, mod wheel. Also, you can go into the keys. Right now I'm in E minor. You like major or C, you know, pentatonic. So a lot of options here. And um, you can also make all changes uh, global with all your, uh, you know, uh, keys, all your phrases. Um, I would say let's stick non-global because I want to show you what you can do with the rotate and the invert button. So if you play the phrase, you can follow visually when the phrase comes back to the downbeat, right? And it's of course time-based. So if you make changes to your sequencer down here, let's slow it down a little bit. Yeah, goes of course with your tempo map. If you rotate, that means you're going to rotate the MIDI information. So look at the graphics. So you can actually... So now you're starting, you know, at a different spot. So you can actually play, let's say you want to play this strum, but you don't like it, does it, it, where it comes in. You can actually rotate the strum a little later. So that's how you can modify it in, in the engine if you want to change some of the phrasing. If you need a same with the inversion. Yeah, you know, fun stuff. And you can see how, 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 it, how it moves the pattern around. If this looks too complicated, and there's the reset button. This is now how you can actually work with this uh, in your sequencer. So if you like this phrase, you can go down here and you drag it over to your instrument. Because I have only the contact instrument in here right now, if I play this back, it's going to trigger the phrase tool again, right? See, it, that sounds, it's not what you want. So if you have the same, if you want to use this guitar, and we have the phrases to load it, you need to turn it off right here. So now if you play this back, right now you can uh, use your currently loaded instrument here and use the phrases. And of course now because it's MIDI, I can go in here and you know, I can uh, change the notes. 
whatever you want to do, right? So you can move it to different notes. So you have a lot of flexibility uh, if you like a certain phrase and you want to take it further and modify it with your own uh, composition. Uh, yeah, just drag, you know, click any key. Oops, let's turn this on again. So the moment you switch to a different, you know, phrase, it changes color. And then you just take the one you like and you can uh, drag it, uh, you know, drag things over. Let's try this one. And see, you're building your pattern uh, MIDI track here. Okay, and then you turn it off if you're on the same instrument or you have maybe a different instrument uh, somewhere else in your sequencer and you can just drag it right down there. So it's very straightforward. It's very simple, uh, easy to use and definitely a nice add-on for contact if you like uh, phrases for inspiration, you know, and uh, production. Here you have it. Thanks for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.